the Supreme Court reiterates the 43 names that it had recommended as the High Court judges. The CJI J.S. Thakur, who heads the Collegium, told the Centre that it will now have to accept the choices. So there is a clear directive that the Supreme Court is making here. The 43 names that it has recommended as the High Court judges uh, must be accepted. Well, let me go across to Minakshi Bhanja, who has brought us uh, this news. Yes, Minakshi, over to you for the details. Well, Afrida, this is going to be very interesting going forward. Uh, remember, these are those 77 names uh, which were standing still for a fair bit of time and that is the reason in the past we have seen the Chief Justice of India uh, come down heavily on centre. And mm -hmm. subsequently, the central government had told the Supreme Court that out of the 77 names, it has objections with 43 names and therefore the Collegium had to reconsider such names. And today, uh, just... Uh, moments back, Afrida, uh, the uh, Honorable Chief Justice of India has reiterated his choice, uh, the Collegium's choice, uh, to the central government. And as per procedure, now there should be no hindrance or obstacle in the way of the government going ahead and giving its assent for their notification. So this is very significant given the fact that it is another sign of the judiciary reaffirming its independence of sorts and rejecting the reservations of the central government and reaffirming its original choice uh, which it had uh, proposed to the government. Right, Minakshi, as we all know, I mean, this uh, judge's appointment issue was one of those issues where the judiciary and the executive had locked horns over. Now, what would be the immediate implication of the uh, position that the Supreme Court has taken today? Well, Afida, uh, this, uh, like uh, I was telling uh, very quickly for the sake of our viewers again, is going to have very interesting ramifications going forward. Mm -hmm. Remember, this has just happened moments back. The central government for the first time had come out to the Supreme Court and cited objections to the appointment of uh, 43 names which it found as contentious. And that was the reservation which today has been overruled uh, by the Chief Justice of India headed Collegium. So right. this has two, three nuances to it. One, uh, the Collegium reaffirming its original original choice of 77 for appointment as High Court judges. Second, uh, the uh, Supreme Court Collegium uh, rejecting the reservations of the central government for such appointments. Right. Now, when you say rejecting uh, certain choices, now that also would have uh, certain ramifications in the long run, isn't it? It's a very strong message that way. Well, correct. Uh, that is correct, Afrida. Uh, going forward, uh, how the central government is now going to uh, process uh, this particular piece of news that is coming in from the Supreme Court with the Chief Justice of India categorically stating that while we have rec rec reconsidered your reservations which you cited for the 43 names but the Collegium still reaffirms or stands by its original choice which it forwarded to you and as far as the procedure is concerned by law the central government now uh, mm -hmm. perhaps cannot do much except give its assent uh, right. for the appointment of such judges. Right. So this would be binding on the government. We will wait to hear more on how the issue uh, really works out from here and how the appointments take place. Many thanks, Meenakshi, for joining us.